Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Get your thing out. I think I'll fiber wire the shit out of him. There we go. Come on. Look, look. There we go. Look out the window. Look out the window for extended periods of time. There we go. Up. Easy does it. And out we go. <laughs> head calmly towards an exit. You know what? That's not really my speed. Let's get a bus going. Shut up. <laughs> and down he goes as well. Oh, Mr. Norfolk. Oh, we barely knew you. Oh, we can disguise ourselves as Mr. Norfolk. There we go. He's, well, the actor who... The, uh, the actor form, uh, currently known as Norfolk. I guess there's that, sure. Alright, time to get him into the locker. In you get. I'd say this was a very successful test. I don't know about you guys. Shooting a bunch of people, that didn't really work too well. But this, this right here, it's like, fuck you. It's going great. Oh, someone's going to have to pay for that, aren't they? Oh, look at that. 1999 and uh, good old CRT monitors. Yep, that's accurate. That's period accurate. Hello. This is not the hangar. Uh, I want free vodka. All right, fine. I won't have any vodka then. Not until I leave, I guess. All right. I am allowed up here, though, so I can say, Hey, Jasper Knight, we need to do another uh, quick test. Mr. Commandant, am I allowed in here? Yes. Okay, now, excuse me. Excuse me, I've got a problem here. I need you to do another test. Jasper Knight, we got to go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. With, I mean, uh, look, I did some tinkering. I've done some more math, Isn't and... Well, I hate to break it to you, but, I mean, the ejector seat. I don't think it's working as I'm we thought it was. Is it going to do that thing where it flips on its head? I don't like that one bit. No. One bit. Um, You're a good so are we doing this, this or what? Way, Hello? Yeah. You, Grease Monkey. Grease Monkey, yeah, okay, come on. See, I've even got my wrench out and everything. No drinky for you, comrade, I know. I'm stealing his vodka and everything. Come on, buddy. Are you fucking coming along or what? What are you doing? Mr. Knight, we did some readjustments to the jet. Yes. And we'll need to do another safety check. Is this strictly necessary? <laughs> Very well. Very well. Okay. Come on, buddy. I'm going to take you somewhere nice and comfy. A nice little comfy seat on a jet. It's going to be great. Oh, it's going to be the greatest. You have no idea how awesome this is going to be. Don't worry. It's not actually activated. It's fine. It's just going to be a test for the ejection seat. Everything's above board here. We are trying bing bing bong. Hey, good oh, to see you, man. Good to see you, although I'm not allowed in the, the radio section. That's that's a shame. Oh, I'm just going to use a crowbar on the door, I think, if I can get away with it. Come on. Down you get. There we go. It's going to take a while for him to get there, but here we go. That's totally safe. Look, I'll, I'll prove it to you right now. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Once he gets into that seat, we are ready to go, and this test is going to go swimmingly, I promise you. Here we okay, go. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Get your cock into the cockpit. That's why we named it such. There you go. Hop aboard. It'll be just fine. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's as if he doesn't know this is going to happen. One step at a time. There you go. Yeah, you know how to ladder properly, don't you? Everything will be fine. All right. So step one, uh, get in cockpit. Um, all right. Yeah, you did that one quite well. You could have done it better, but yeah, yeah you did all right. Uh, step two, put on safety straps. Step one. Oh, that's step Strap one. Never mind. In. I, I guess it's a given that you're going to get into the cockpit, so yeah, no, this is step one. Strap yourself in, safety first. Okay, all strapped in. Cool, step two. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. <laughs> Place hand upon ejector seat handle. Uh, yes, found it. Found it, cool. Step three, pull ejection handle. Step three, <laughs> pull the ejector seat handle. Here we go. Pull, and... Oh! No. <laughs> Off he goes! Whee! Off he goes, oh, bye! You did it. Now get towards an exit. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, wait, there's one last thing here. Step four, die horribly. Yeah, you did that one like a pro. Fantastic. Pretty sure... Pretty sure he's alright, though, because we're just acting. It's all good. Hey, nice threads, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> nice threads. <laughs> You, uh, you look, you look like a mechanic, but you're not one, though, are you? I have a feeling you're not. Okay, I'm gonna get him back into my KGB outfit here because I want that fucking vodka. <laughs> so please, 
Do not deny me my prize. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... I can go in here, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Fuck it. I'm gonna go into the auction room. And we're basically just gonna hang out here, primarily. And then... It's time for fireworks. Boop! There we go. As you can see, the fireworks barges are already off! Hey! Bit of a premature start to the festivities, but fuck it. It'll get everyone's attention. Yay, they fixed the fireworks sound effects that were broken in Season 2 for, like, nearly a year. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yep, they're suitably loud enough for us now. <laughs> there we go. Look, I, look, the fireworks, as far as I'm concerned, good to go. Alright? I went, I went across the runway. As far as I'm concerned, the fashion show is fucking over, bitches, okay? Trey Magnifique and all that bullshit. Okay. Ooh, there's a Kelly video. I'll check that in a sec. But right now, here's Dahlia, who is checking out the fireworks. And Victor, who is now downstairs. There he is. He's just there going, no, it wasn't supposed to happen yet. No. <laughs> yeah, keep it together down there. I'll send you over. There we go. Ah! <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the scenic route to escape, actually. So that's two targets in one. A horrible accident, um, quote unquote. That's how we do things here. We alright, fuck your everything. Done. Alright, they're searching for a potential person that was responsible for pushing Dahlia down from the from the second floor all the way down to uh, to, the, to the ground floor, and then uh, uh, poor Victor also got his head squished. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to get rid of her. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, what's I'm... up, Doc? <laughs> yes, I too have seen Warner Brothers. Oh. Senor Caruso's private quarters. Cool. I will be downstairs if needed. Cool, Leo. Best of luck. Best A of luck. Private okay. therapy session with Caruso. Okay. Nicely done, forty-seven. I'm also going to steal this here BioLab's uh, security key card, which will allow me to get access to where the virus is being kept. Very sneaky. Okay. So here we go. We got ourselves a little oh, little session here. I know a fruit bat when I see one. <laughs> There's a guy in Monstad at night who's grabbing coins from the fountain to pay for medicine for his sister. If you go there on the day you find the sister throwing coins in the fountain, oh my god. So, Ether sends a specialist to rummage through my brain. Uh, you know, the they just want to check on their in Relax. investment, that's all. Start by telling me what's on your mind. Isn't it? Do you have a obvious? desire to fuck your dead mother? I'm under a lot of pressure. Mm. Work. Mother died last year. Oh, okay. Stress manifests itself. I can ease that stress right now. You know how you do it? This is like a Your really simple thing. Isabella, would you like to talk about her? Look, yes, talk about the mother. I, I know what you're driving. At. You know nothing of me. This session is over. Fuck you. Right? <laughs> there we go. It'll only take a few seconds. Right? <laughs> well, that didn't take long at all. There we go. <laughs> He just had to hold his breath for half a second. Uh, okay. Alright, he's just having a little nap. He'll be fine. And I think that was a fairly successful little session we had there. Um, I don't think there's any need for a follow-up. You just have a little rest. You'll be fine. And in the meantime, fuck your boat. Because inside this boat is a very cleverly hidden virus prototype. Which I can just chuck at Francesca right now and kill her instantly. But, I'd rather a cutscene kill. And in order to do that... Hello there, gents. Um, I'm just heading off real quick. Don't mind me. Agent 47 therapy. Uh, in my professional diagnosis, he is a sandwich short of pick of a picnic. Um, he's going to require no more sessions. Um, don't you worry, though. We'll sort it out. Am I allowed out here as the therapist, do you think? I seem to be. Uh, I'm not going to take my chances, though. I'm going to... I'm just going to sneak around a bit and see if I can actually go outside in the back here. I might not be able to. Okay. Okay, see, see, this is how you blend in properly. She, she'd be totally like, I don't recognize you as a member of the science team. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's just a Halloween costume. Okay? What, what, what scientist would pray to the, to the Virgin Mary like this? Okay? I should be praying to, like, science speakers and shit. 
Just like beakers filled with all kinds of sciencey goodness. But then again, I'm not a chemist, so fuck it. Science team. Oh, yep, she's too busy fucking around over here. Oh, let's go see Potato Jesus. Hang on, close that. Oh, we can't close it, but hey. If you look over here, nice Easter egg there. There's Potato Jesus. <laughs> That's obviously a play of the uh, poorly restored Jesus picture. Let's see. Um, badly restored Jesus. Uh, there it is. That's badly restored Jesus. There we go. So it's a play on that. Um, there was this badly restored, there's this uh, Jesus uh, image on the left there. Kind of got a bit damaged in the, it, on, on the center part. That's how damaged it was. And then this lady took it upon herself to be like, okay, I'll fix it. It's going to be just fine. And then you end up with this fucking potato. And if we uh, move that image over there, yep, that's pretty much what we're looking at. <laughs> potato Jesus. Ah, oh, lovely Easter egg. It's one of my favorite things. Go away. There we go. <laughs> oh, potato Jesus, let us all give thanks to he... For he has- he died for our sins. He was a wonderful piece of art before he was destroyed by some ridiculous woman who considered herself to be something of an artist and an art restoration expert. Alright, well, I'm just gonna hide here like a corpse wearing the outfit of her dead friend here. I'm sure she won't notice at all. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. I remember that. <laughs> Unless you're referring to this YouTube video, the science team video. Let's see what this is. Do, 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 do. Oh, Melody. Huh? Are you seriously watching porn by yourself? No! I'm with the science team! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm with the science team! <laughs> Classic. Love it so much. <laughs> there we go. Don't drown. Don't drown. It's alright. Everything's fine. There we go. We're going to get to use another cell phone today. Okay. You get in there. It's going to be just fine. Yeah, I'm a golf coach now. I, t I certainly look the part. Holy shit. Move over, Greg Hunt. All right. Uh, Redol DeSantis Roberto Vargas cell phone. Beep, boop, beep. It's me. Roberto. Silvio let you off early. I want yes. us to meet. Your room. I sound completely different, I but it's okay. No. But you won't. See you soon. <laughs> you what? You never do. I can't even. I can't even breathe. Right? Okay. So now we just have to have to wait for DeSantis to arrive. I've already poisoned her champagne, so this will be fun. I've turned on. Oh wait. Oh, I gotta get some music going. The fire's on. But here we go. Oh. Yeah, that's some sexy music. We can turn off this. But you know why we want? Why would we want to do that? Oh, hello there, Mally. Uh, I'm doing fine. How? Are, more importantly, how are you? Are you doing all right? Sit down as the golf coach. There we go. Nice now I can be all stealthy. DeSantis will be here shortly. Cool. I suggest you get in the mood. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks like Roberto has done all the work for me. He's got the champagne, the flower petals, the everything. I just have to sit in the dark and hope that she doesn't recognize that I'm not her lover. It's going to be great. I'm doing fine, although my internet shit. So, hey, you know, we could drop out at any second and I'm very sad. Very sad Bill's indeed. Lived here with flex tape. That's a lot of damage. It's <laughs> a lot of damage. I just saw this boat in half. I just saw this boat in half. <laughs> oh, Phil Swift. He was a great addition to PBS Champion Wrestling. Wonderful addition. God, I'm already bored of waiting for you. Hurry up. God damn it. What are you doing? It's so dark in here. I mean, she's nearly here. There we go. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm even allowed in here, but she will recognize that I'm not not her husband, though. So if I sit in the chair, that alleviates that somewhat, because I'm in the dark and I'm not spooky and shit. I'm like, boo, it is me, Roberto. <laughs> VTubers and PBS CW went, oh my god. I need to check the I need to check the workshop, see if Coroni's already there. People can do some crazy th shit, because now there's like a parts uh, creator DLC. I don't have it though, so I can't use it just yet. Candle's my favorite. <laughs> Where do you like- why do you like to have your candles placed? Yeah. Huh? Oh good, I don't have to talk. Just as well, I don't sound anything like Roberto. Yes. 
Cougar Supreme. All right, I've um, it's complicated. Don't worry, I'm gonna uncomplicate everything for you. Just you wait and see. They didn't just send me here to assist Caruso. Oh. They sent me here to spy on him. Spy on him. Now that that is a spicy meatball. <laughs> his his episodes are becoming problematic, you see, and well, he's got to go. Oh, I like dangerous. I like to live dangerously. Here's to you. Go on, drink it up. Drink up the whole thing. There we go. Down the hatch. <laughs> Just sit on my face and tell me you love me. <laughs> After drinking the champagne, which would be super awkward now that I think about it. Oh. I am. Break it off. <coughs> oh dear. Oh, you're alright. So oh. Oh. Yeah, you don't look too well. In the champagne. <laughs> Roberto. How? How could you? I thought. Could you? <laughs> and now the ultimate surprise. It was not Roberto, it was me! <laughs> Two targets down. And I'll take a now fourth biolab security key card! <laughs> how many of these how many of these fucking things have I got? Oh my god! Oh they don't tell you how many you've got, but I assure you, I've I've been counting. We're up to four now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just wanna like take them all out at once and be like, hey, check this shit out. I'm so important I get four of these. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> just slide them all in. All right, we got a lovely auto save there. Um, let's see, where did we dump Roberto again? I've forgotten. Um, because I might like the science team outfit now. I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh, out you go. There. All right. Grab a hazmat suit. There are plenty of them to go around. All righty. Welcome to the virus production center. I'm sure I'll be just fine. You know, it'll be just fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm getting all wet. That's great. There, in the sealed container. There it is. The virus prototype. Okay. Now, how do we get rid of it? I can do some things. Let's have a look. Uh, sabotage computer research station. Okay. Let's uh, fuck that up. Research in progress. Uh, there we go. Error research on hold. Oh dear, all your research is fucked. No, you can't spot me. I'm looking through here. There you go. Uh, you have 806. Oh wow, it's gone up a bit actually since last I checked. It was like, um, last I checked it was like nearly 500. So that's going well. I have 11. Oh yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta post a ton of shit to it. That's how YouTube works. Just post lots of shit on it and you'll be fine. It can be anything. Just post a lot of videos. Okay. Uh, robot arm. Oh. You had me at robot arm. All right, let's see. Grab sample. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, warning dangerous compound. I got zero. Oh, warning dangerous compound. I'm guessing the red ones are dangerous. Warning dangerous compound. We got sample A and sample B. Processing. Oh, yeah. No, we fucked up some things there. It's all right. Um, I'm looking through a microscope. I don't know how that happened. Post tick. Yes, post tickle videos. Exactly. <laughs> I have a good amount of subs. I know, it's it's slowly climbing up there. Once I hit a thousand, um, I don't know. They say once you hit your first thousand, that's when it starts to trickle over and actually become, a, you know, it, it just starts to grow from there. So we'll see how that goes. I've still never made a cent off YouTube before. Okay. Post, yeah, that's, that's my number one tip. If you're on YouTube and you want to get a ton of views and subscribers, just upload tickle videos. <laughs> there are barrels in this level. They're in the uh, the cellar. They're in the wine cellar. It's great. Okay, still blending. Uh, what else we got over here? We got this uh, thingy. Uh, turn on ventilation system. Toxic environment. Well, let's fix that. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. We vented all the toxins. I I'm still trying to figure out how that's a bad thing, but whatever's. Uh. Oh, we have the rats. Let's poison the rats with rat poison. Rest in peace, my little friends. There we go. You did not deserve that fate. Worse than death. There we go. Now they're all distracted. No. On Twitch. Oh, I don't know how many I have on Twitch, but I think it's more than YouTube at this point. 
Okay, now all the scientists are distracted, now all we have to do is just increase temperature to the virus cabinet. It's as simple as that, it can't survive in high temperature. Oh dear, all you have to do is just fiddle around with this little feature here. Oh, oh, oh. Why would you even put this on, on the device in the first place? You can conceal an item in here as well, but I don't think I need to do that. Nope. Oh. Oh. It's getting pretty hot. 26 degrees. I don't know if that's Celsius or Fahrenheit. I'm going to assume that's Celsius. Or centigrade, depending on how much of a wanker you are. Oh my goodness. Ooh! Uh, I think the virus is fucked. I think. Uh. Okay, that's strange. At this point, it's supposed to blow up and die. Oh, I think he lowered the temperature. Damn it, I gotta distract him again. Okay. Yo, you wanna fix this research? Your research is fucked again. Oh man, there's so much going on today. Poison rats, mixed poisonous samples. God damn it. Okay. Oh no, now there's more goons coming in here. Alright, it, it, it seems to me that you need more guys in here to fix your problems. Okay. Well, that's not gonna work. Uh, oh yeah, I can totally fuck around with this. I've never had this much trouble doing this one before. You usually, you just have to fuck up with those three things and then you're good. Kill them all! I, I wish I could. Okay, there we go. Okay. He's still checking the rats, like, how did they die? I, I haven't given them the virus yet, it's not poisoned. Okay, well if you guys are like super distracted and shit, never mind, I'll just uh... There we go. Temperature rising. I'm just gonna head out real quick. Area being investigated. Hopefully... Oh, oh. I think this will work this time. There we go, there's much science going on here. Proper science now. Beep, beep. Oh, it's getting pretty high. It's getting pretty high. 29 degrees, 32. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's no liquid cooling in this. Oh, it's gonna pop. Oh, 50 degrees. Oh. Someone's water cooling is fucked and now the CPU is blown up. There we go. All <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Be beautiful. Love it. That's so sexy. All right, um... Sciencing. Am I allowed in here? Yes, okay, I can get away with sort of hanging around here. Look, I don't want to kill you, I just want to knock you out and steal your clothes. That's totally above board, right? You're all with me on that, right? That's totally normal behavior? It's gotta be. Alright, he's gonna wash his hands again. Because he's a germaphobe, I guess. Oh. Oh. What was that? Yes, alright, he's checking it out. He's gonna get a free coin. Oh, no, he's not. No free money for you. Hey, you know what they say? There's no such thing as a free lunch. You should have learned your lesson the first time, dickhead. Okay. Do, 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 do. Fantastic. Now, I can meet up with the news crew. Fantastic. And then let this interview go, uh, go underway, basically. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to save here, though, because things could happen. So I'm gonna save a gilded cage over that one. There we go. All right, fantastic. There we go. And no one recognizes me because I'm a go- Oh, hang on. I also have my special, uh... There we go. Even though I just emerged from this building, I'll have to show you my invitation again. He didn't have to show his invitation. This is bullshit. I'm not attending this place ever again. I'm giving this such a bad Yelp review. Two out of ten. Fucking discriminating against cameramen. Not having it. Okay, let's wade through the streets. Oh god, this guy's an enforcer? Oh, Jesus, all right. I'm just a reporter. Why the hell would he think I'm a different reporter? Why would he care? All right. Oh, God, I just got to duck and weave through all of these little areas here. God, I can almost feel the heat from this place. It looks really good. Stomach. <laughs> Shellfish from a buffet. In a, on, a, on a hot day. Yeah, you don't do that. That's a rookie mistake. Uh, hello. Oh, wind is making my internet go weird. Oh, it's a bit wind. It was a bit windy this morning. It seems to have calmed down a bit. Uh, Are you fucking kidding me? 
you fucking kidding me? Have some Dr. Pop. Hey, look at you. You fucking dickhead. Ow. Hang on. No. Who's shooting at me? No. No, no, no. Fuck you. What the hell was that? Holy shit. All right. It's at least I saved. At least I fucking saved. Otherwise, I have to go all the way back here and I was still just wearing my disguise. My waiter's disguise. Holy shit. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's fix that little debacle. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, God, help me. All right. That new enforcer. Why did they put him in here? He wasn't in the original. Why'd you put a fucking enforcer there? Why'd you do it? Okay. Hopefully this interview goes on for a while. That moose is dropping on your fucking head whether you like it or not. How do I release the moose, do you think? Uh, oh, here's the moose button. I don't need this disguise after all. Moose! Good work. Yeah. Ah! Next up, <laughs> moose! Alright, that's how you do it. Oh, goodness gracious me. That is how it is done. Oh, we moosed him so hard. That's how you do it in Canada as well, I hear. Uh, we're gonna have to search the building for, uh, an angry moose. <laughs> so much squish. Ah! That's not the outfit I wanted. Uh, I want cameraman outfit. Um, onslaught security. There we go. Cameraman. Now, I just kind of want to leave, if that's okay with you. <laughs> so there's one of our targets down. We crushed him with a moose. Um, don't forget to pick up your gun on the way out. Oh my god. Oh my god. There was there was a moose incident. There was a moose related incident. We need to deal with this. Level 4 security announcement. Oh dear. I gotta get my gun first. I keep forgetting. <laughs> we moosed him. He'll be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Alright. We're professionals. We, we can deal with this. Okay. I just need to make sure that I've got enough room in that lock of two people. Is, is someone in here? Yes. Hello? Yep. Look, I'm doing you the best favor, I swear. There we go. You're going to be just fine, though. I'm going to stuff you over here. I'm almost 100% sure that Sora won't make a mouse pad. They should all make mouse pads. This is ridiculous. Gura one, although she doesn't have any boobies, so I guess that doesn't count. Okay, hostile area. This is now hostile area. Good but if plan. I sit down as the prisoner... Dan won't expect resistance from a tied-up prisoner. Ah, there you go. I'm going to pretend to be tied up. And now all we have to do is wait for the general to pop over here. He'll say, I'm very disappointed in you. I... I know. I know, I know your brother was killed in the whole shootout thing. We're trying to get uh, Klaus Strandberg out of, uh, out of uh, prison, out of the prison trucks. But, you know... These things happen. You signed up for this shit, and this is what happened. Pretty much the only true idol in Hollow Life. So, like, she's, like, legit, you know? Just, like, fully, like, oh my god, I'm totally best waifu of all times. She's, she's real, uh... What's the, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Not humble. She's, uh, super, um... I don't know what word I'm looking for. Oh, I just have to pretend I'm asleep now. Here we go. Sleepy time. Oh. Time to decide. What should I do? <laughs> Nipple batteries? Teeth pulling? Screwdriver in the rectum? Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Simon. Oh, I totally am. Fuck you! <laughs> down he goes. Both targets there down. we go. This doesn't look Add like an accident, though. <laughs> so I better stuff him away. There we go. There we go. In you get. And that's a mission. I better get my outfit back on. There we go. Well, uh, yeah. you're no quitter. I've got to give you that. Sora seems well, to have a habit of stalking the other Hololive members on Hololive MC gotta... server. We'll link in Discord. Yeah. Bit creepy, but sure. sure. You don't want to ride home. It's okay. not about Might that. as well take a quick drink while these two are prattling on. There's this guest. Big shot lawyer fella up in the Queen Suite. He's offered to buy it. This, this piece of crap for like... An obscene amount of money. A million gazillion dollars. Get the engine running. A guest oh. wants to buy your crummy old tuk tuk. <laughs> Tourists, right? <laughs> Tourists, man. Disney. I don't know. The guy wants to use it as a golf cart at his Hamptons Country Club or whatever. Oh. According to the hotel gardener, 
Can Imagination really artist, JG give JG Ovikar yeah. JG Lum better luck next time. Him, he can't get the engine working. Hmm. Well, you're good at fixing things, 47. Yeah, apparently I, I am a, a, a mechanic, so why not? Happened. This could be excellent bait. Oh, you know how much I love bait. Okay. His folly is oh, like better luck next time. But you did get a give, a Picard, and um, a Lum. January 9th. 2019. Fuck your Mars. Okay, I'm missing a screwdriver, but I can puncture this barrel in a different way, so it's okay. Okay, I'll help you repair this thing. It's not suspicious if I do it. It's time to close the deal. Okay. So we want him to start the engine first. Because he'll check it out and be like, holy shit, it's actually working. And Miss Mukjai, the, the woman who owns this fucking hotel, is uh, very suspicious of people that don't look like her guards. I mean, I don't look... Like I'm from Bangkok at all. I look very much like a tourist. And now to deliver Mr. Morgan the good news. All right, fantastic. It works. Now, all we have to do is find a nice little vantage point here. Um, I will save in case I fuck this up. But we just need to find a good little vantage spot to fire our Krugermeyer. We don't need a screwdriver if we can just Krugermeyer the barrel. Let's see if I can just about hit it from here. There we go. And... There we go. So we hit the barrel. Hello? Is there? And there we go. Now it's leaking out all its oil. Fantastic. Now next time someone starts this engine, it'll start a fire. Hooray! Safe, uh, okay. I'm a, I'm a security guard. I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to be somewhat intimidating, but yeah, keeping, keeping the peace is what I do. Oh, so tempting to fucking throw a hammer at you, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Um, alright. Um, do, 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 do. Oh god, there's an enforcer here. That's alright. That's alright. Oh, there's a treat. Break line of sight. That's how you do it. <laughs> damn it! I can't recognize you unless I see you for a prolonged period of time. God damn it! <laughs> okay. I'm sad that there's no Loli at the arcade. Oh no. By Joe's guy. 24-11-2019. Okay. So, where's our guy that owns the tuk-tuk? I think he's just sort of hanging out around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. I think that's him. So, we just have to wait for our target to return. Hang on, Loli, I'm coming. That is Ken Never want to hear those words, do you? Lawyer. Sometimes those words are uttered and the police are called. There's Ken the Brick. By Joe's guy, 18-10-2020. Uh, it's true, you know. Mr. Morgan, sir? Yes. Ah, the tuk-tuk fellow. The tuk-tuk fellow. Did you to fix the engine? Uh, yes, sir. She's Do we have a hundred? No, not just yet. We're on number ninety-nine. Let's make one hundred something special. At nobody eight eighty-nine. Uh, could not find quote one hundred. Nope. Are you sure it exists? Nope. Nope. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, we'll have to make it something really special. Oh, I'll just have to say some really epic things over the next uh, stream or two, and hopefully someone will just say, yep, that's got to be number 100. That's got to be. Okay, I will escort you because I am your friend. Hence the pointy hat, which, if you land on it, looks like it would really, really fucking hurt. Okay. Yeah, we're all friends here. There we go. I'm just going to escort you guys over to the tuk-tuk. Absolutely nothing will go wrong. Everything's fine. Which is the one for Potato Man again? Is that not 98? Liquid ass. <laughs> liquid. Oh. Slightly better than liquid AIDS. Which, let's face it, is 90% of my commentary. <laughs> Knockout. Potato Man wins. 98, okay. By Potato Man. 18 10 2020. Oh, there's an enforcer there. I gotta hide behind the tree temporarily. I don't recognize that guy, but he's hiding behind a tree, so, um. I got nothing. <laughs> I can't recognize him as being someone who is uh, not part of the security team unless I get a good look at him. But he's behind a tree, so I can't do anything. All right, all we have to do is just uh, chill here now and just uh, watch the fireworks. Holy shit, I can make my model disappear even. Well, I did. How do I do that? All right, uh, there she is. Uh, uh, go ahead, Mr. Morgan. Uh, please, uh, you do the honors. You do the honors. Here we go. Hmm. Let's see, I'll start this up and, uh, something good. Oh, she purrs like a kitten. What the? Ah! <laughs> oh, shit, that's him gone. Target down. Now on to Hooray! All right, one guy dead. Oh, God, now that guy's suspicious. He's going to come over here. I don't want people to come over here. Come on, we got 
we've got trouble. That's alright, I'll sort it out. I'll go ask the um, important officials. Okay, I am trespassing. That's okay though. Because here we've got a laptop of things. Play recording. Jordan's la uh, Jordan Cross's laptop. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I think we found the uh, recording of Hannah's last moments. Well, let's just wait for Jordan Cross. Oh, let's not use that gun though. Can, can, can we can we not use that? Oh my God, she sounds like a thought. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to drop all of my guns except for the one that I want to use. Okay, now I'm ready. I don't get it. I can shoot him now, or I can let him beg a bit. She said she would destroy. What if I just smash the drive now? Yeah, no evidence, no nothing. Oh. Come on, Jordan. Oh. Who are you? That's not the right question. The question is, how did I get in here so easily? It, okay? it doesn't work that way. Yay, my no. face is here again. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean to. You know? I was drunk. I, I snapped. The window, I oh, you were... You, yeah, you snapped, all right. Bye. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. <laughs> It's just, he was just contemplating, being all worried and shit, and then all of a sudden, brah, yeah, yeah. All right, there goes Jordan Cross. Let's store his body somewhere because that was certainly not going. That's certainly not going to be seen as an accident kill. I'm just going to stuff you in the wardrobe. There you go, you prick, Mr. Top Bun. Holy fuck! I'm so glad you're dead. <laughs> Never suffer a Top Bun to live. There's also a Mon Lethal syringe where, where this teddy bear is. I have no idea. I have no fucking clue, but I'll take it. Why not? Okay, administer overdose. I can do that. There we go. Don't worry, he's not going to die. He's just going to fall unconscious. Yeah, he's not... He's, he doesn't sound like he's having a good time. Yep. Oh, yep. No, I think he's gone now. <laughs> I think he's out. Which means... Um, we, all we have to do is just wait for Berg. And good things will happen, question mark? I should really do The Sims 4 at some point. The Sims 3 was fine, but The Sims 4 has, uh... I mean, it performs a lot better, and I, I really should uh, try it out. I want to make uh, the House of Gib there at some point. That looks like the most random thing to do, I know. But it's, it's something. I don't know how you'll be able to figure that out for yourself, but sure. Well, I guess you could look at the feed and be like, okay, I'll go to the basement. Oh, here comes Berg. Here he comes. Don't know if he's... No, he's not being followed by anyone. House... Hatch Hachama's house in Hitman 3. The only way you know it's hers is because it's in Australia and full of burn gyoza. That is Ezra Berg, uh? former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. There we go. Well done, 47. With any luck, the perfectionist Ezra Berg will want to examine his notes closely to oh. figure out what happened. Oh, shit. <gasps> Uh, why is he here now? Oh, God. That could have gone better. Eh? Oh, God. He did- What the fuck? Everything went wrong there. I guess you gotta act a little- uh, a, a little bit quicker. Just take him out and stuff him into a box as quickly as you can, man. Fuck the mission story. Make Joe's guy kill Sims again. I didn't get to kill anyone at, at all when I played The Sims well 3. Done, but I would like to. Oh, the perfectionist Ezra Berg there we go. To He's gone. To out what I just gotta quickly get Ezra his ass into this box. Well, nice and quick. Oh god, there's an enforcer. Okay, done and done. What's he got on him? He's got lethal poison pill jar, garage key, basement key. All of those things are sexy. I'll enjoy them. Okay, creepy old Ezra Berg is down. Who's left? Let's see, there's... Sean Rose, P Penelope Graves, and Maya Pavati. And what am I... What is wrong with me? Am I alright? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Hands off the mouse and keyboard. I'm not doing anything here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it might be because of the carpet I'm standing on. Yeah, it's getting a bit funny. It... 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 it. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, goodness me. That is... That is gorgeous. Uh...
Oh, look at these neat pencils. Oh, they're fucked. <laughs> this ought to rattle this cage. <laughs> oh no, my precious pencil collection. It's all fucked now. Mission story completed. He's put his watch back on, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm just going to dump this gun over here just to get this out of the way. Okay. Do, do, do. He's, he just seems to keep going back to the bathroom. He's put his watch back on, so that's a start. Uh, oh, he's left. Okay. He's finally left. He's going to check on the clock. We're going to give him full-on uh, uh, OCD now. But not before. Fucking the shit out of you. All right. Okay. We'll just put you over here. I want to go downstairs and check him freak. You check him out freaking over the uh, the clock that I fucked up. Here we go. Get in there. Okay. Beautiful. Everything's going great. And for fuck's sake, save. For fuck's sake, save. That'd be great. Override existing save. Oh, what the hell doesn't anyone else care about this? <laughs> the clock is out, out of time. Why doesn't anyone give a shit about this? It's supposed to keep the proper time. Here we go. Oh, there's Penelope. She's back inside again. Don't worry, we'll get her. Oh, Rose's room key. I'll I'll nab that. Not that I need it anymore. You're not welcome here right now, so get out of here, okay? Uh, I'm I'm militia elite. Studying the boss's accomplishments. Impressive to say the least. Okay, maybe I have to fuck up the clock again now. Nah, it's plenty fucked. I, I'm sorry. Is that two guys? Oh my god, occupying the same space. I uh, think we might have entered a time hole here. <laughs> We've done some terrible things to the space-time continuum. When did you decide to switch sides? I used to think you were a monster. No. That building in Auckland. Oh. Uh -huh. What made you change your mind after then he blew I up the building, boss, huh? And he... Well, you know his ways. <laughs> he seduced you? What happened? Peek behind the curtain, and once you know the truth... ...changes your perception. And now you're a full-on terrorist. I don't like your methods. But I understand oh, now. Excuse me, but it really freaks me out when people stand too close to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Yuri Lowenthal, because that's totally you doing the voice acting for that character. Supposed to be collateral damage. What kind of moron holds his kid's tenth birthday at the office on a Sunday? I mean, yeah, frankly, if you're that stupid, your kid deserves to die. I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. We'll pick this up later. Okay. I want your opinion on something. Oh? Is it opinion time? Hey, good to see you. Uh, you just told me to fuck off because I wasn't welcome here. Now it's good to see you? Oh, you are a temperamental waifu and I don't like you. I can't blend in as a hacker because I'm not a hacker. Come on, I fucked your clock up. I fucked your pencils up. I fucked up all of your things. Nobody's back with smug waifus. Oh my god, is that the... Is that the... The... the uh, Little tiny fuzzy plushy waifus you can throw in uh, that Doom mod. And then it plays uh, Mario World music. There we go. Ooh, free baseball. I'll take that. There we go. No one's here to see you. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Who the hell would do this? <laughs> it, was, it was perfect. I, my lovely pencils. Hello. <laughs> he's really, he's really freaked out about this. I better stop his ability from washing his hands. Here we go. I better stop him washing his hands. He ain't doing it. There we go. Do you want to wash your hands, buddy? Or do I have to throw a baseball at you? Oh, what's he doing? I, I can't remember this, uh, story mission at all, actually. I, I know about the OCD shit, but I don't know what he's doing now. What's he up to? That sink sure won't be handy. No. <laughs> we fucked it up so badly that you can't wash anything in it. Oh, what's he doing? I kind of just want to follow him and see what happens. What's he doing? He's definitely agitated. Oh yeah, he's got to uh, smoke the hallucinogenic um, uh, cigarettes. I'm so glad I didn't bash him with a baseball, ba uh, baseball because I would have completely forgotten about that. 
I was about to bash him with America's favorite pastime and then break his neck or maybe throw him out the window. I don't know. All I know for sure is I would have, we would have missed out on this. There we go. Deep breath. There you go. There you go. That cigarette will calm you down. Think about geometric shapes. Think about triangles. Even distribution of points and sides. That's no- oh dear. Oh dear, it's starting to take an effect already. I don't feel- no, no, that's not right. That's not right. Oh no, he's freaking out. <laughs> the bugs are on me again. <laughs> oh. oh, look at that little dandelion floating around in the middle of nowhere. This game looks nice. Oh god, I'm covered in everything. They're everywhere. Oh, get them off. Get them off. Just not clean. Un. And, oh, gotta, off he goes. It it's alright, it's alright. You just clean oh yourself. God. Oh my god. And down you go. <laughs> Fantastic, finally. Oh god. At least the rest of the kills are going to be super easy. And that was apparently... That apparently con is considered an accident. He just slipped and fell. If somebody finds the body, it's like, oh, he just slipped and fell. He'll be fine. I mean, he's dead, but he'll be fine. All right, people. Let's get to it. Cool. Is back. We're finally ready to make this happen. I expect or maybe I don't want it to be fully heart. on. I don't know. In case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. We've got to save for it anyway. It's all good. East. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Okay. Extract. Got that? Remember, I've got this dartboard. Speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapon. Get in position. And don't aim them at my face, please. That makes me very upset. Okay. I might be able to switch it now. There we go. Yeah. I think I, I want the safety system on for now. Okay. And then we switch it when she's too busy prattling on. Okay. I'm in position, I'm ready to start shooting. Alright, let's go again. Okay. Shoot him right in the crash test dummy temple. Hey! 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 Alright, that's the end of the crash test dummies. Remember there was a band that was called the crash test dummies? It's like, holy shit. Boop, done. And get down to 15 seconds, not bad. Okay. There we go. And then all we have to do, now that the safety's off, is... BOOP! <laughs> That's what happens when you take the safety off. <laughs> nice one. Alright. Oh, he vomits into this bucket here. Well, that's handy. There we go. And it's a simple matter of just getting his disguise. And then also, don't forget to take his Interpol badge. And that's pretty much it, actually. Um, all right, we just need to find her now and say, hey, I'm with Interpol. We're going to have a chat here real quick. It's not, not terribly difficult. It's just getting the, uh, the outfit and the badge in the first place that's a pain in the ass. Jesus, I've been playing this level for over an hour now. My God. Uh, where are you, Graves? There you are. Oh, don't get too far now. I've got to take you to the slurry pit. So romantic. Come on. Don't subdue her. Talk to her. Penelope Graves. I've got tons of respect You're... for you guys. Uh, what is this? I'll explain everything at the same <laughs> It will Make sure you're wearing your interest. sexiest underpants. I'm just saying. I understand. I'll see you there. Cool. All right. So all we have to do now is just head over to the slurry pit. 
right by the barn with a suspicious hay bale that's strung up there, which you can also use to uh, crush uh, Pavati in the head when she comes out of this out of this barn. But uh, you know, it's a pain in the ass because you have to wait for her. Okay, so we're gonna hang out by the slurry pit now. Oh, is there anything here I can pick up? Any? Oh, yes, there is. There's a an old axe, but I can't really do anything with it. So fuck it. I'm just gonna hang out here in this shed and await our prey. Okay. That slurry pit is looking mighty shiny. At least the next level is super easy compared to this one. The Gama Hotel. I mean, I'll make it more difficult for myself by not cheating and using any extra Hi, items. Soldier. Okay. Let's talk then. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. Rejoice. I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. <laughs> think that is not important. Secure. Gun to face. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. Oh. And what if I refuse? Huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. I <laughs> prove unhealthy. I've got a gun for this, you know. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. There Good we work, go. 47. This should give her something to think about. Fantastic. And she'll probably want to be alone when she thinks as well. All right. One okay, thing that uh, Season 2 did head that head uh, head 1 head was a little bit better at doing was uh, getting people on their own. Me, In 2, it was just so just obvious every now and then you just a do a mission story. It's like, um, guards, please leave me. I need to, uh, I need to think by myself for a while. It's a little less transparent in the first game. The second game, though, oh boy. Okay. Think, I don't know. Don't give a shit. You're dead. <laughs> hey! Grace Done. Down. Accident kill. Excellent. Body hill hidden. Unnoticed kill. Okay. Let's get going. I will uh, escort you to your area here. There we go. go. That's it. Fantastic. Let's yoga then. All right. Um, I better check the schedule. Just to make sure. Um... Uh, F1. Here we go. This is a schedule showing the yoga lessons for the day. Two things of immediate interest. JB, the yoga instructor, hasn't crossed off any of the completed lessons. And uh, Yuki Yamazaki looks to have booked the entire day for herself. Fantastic. It's among the most basic rules of social behavior, moron. I'm a yoga instructor. I'm supposed to feel you up, you I'm stupid woman. Begin. Miss Yamazaki. Okay. Very well. Let's begin. Okay. Face the mountain, and here we Let go. Let's begin. With upward facing dog. Yes. When you're ready. That's that's the most obvious one of all time. Okay. Upward facing dog time. Here you go. Upward facing coroni waifu. There we go. Upward facing doggo. It's all good. I feel like a, I feel like a real upward facing doggo now. Have confidence. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, Lord of the Dance. Here we go. Very good. Now you are not bad at this. Into Lord of the Dance. Fantastic. Remember to Getting schooled on social behavior in game is just just like in real life. I know I don't need this shit. Here we go. That's excellent. Hold that pose. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. No confidence. No confidence. Have more confidence. You can do it. There you go. Face the mountain. There you go. There's even a volcano easter egg there where that will actually spew out lava, but hey. Let's go to Warrior 2. Warrior 2 pose. Core. Strength. Okay. Stay there for a okay. while. Oh, I see where this is going. Step forward. There we go. There we go. Warrior 2 again. Changing sides. Be strong. Just step forward a bit more. There we go. Look at that. Oh, we're going for tree pose. Here we go. Tree pose. Okay, this is gonna be beautiful. This one is tricky. Find a good spot for it. Here we go. Tree pose. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's a decent tree. That's very tree. That's a good tree. I like it. It is. The fuck off. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Yuki. I don't even know where you went. <laughs> but you're definitely dead. <laughs> Make a lol. Oh, there she is. She's just floating in there. That's good. Yeah, you know what? You too, fuckface. 
going it. There are. Oh, it'll be fine. No one else is coming in here. The water's too warm. Okie dokie. Just to play it safe, though, I'm going to pop you all the way over here. Bitch had to come. I agree. She was a, she was just an unpleasant woman at the end. There you go. You just chill over there. No one else will come out here, so that's really handy. Okay, that's uh, that's the yoga session for the day. Sorry about the water and body. I, I'm told that it will be fixed momentarily. Or maybe next year. I can't fucking remember. Schooled her on how to make human soup. <laughs> Why is that emoticon? That's great. What is that? Official 1154 one, Happy Darren. <laughs> oh my goodness. That deserves a save, actually. That was good. That was good time. <laughs> Just kicked her right in the back. Oh, good times. All right, now we just have to get rid of Eric's sodas. Now, surprisingly easy, actually. There's a multitude of ways we can go about that, so... Oh, shit. No, no, no. I'm good people. There we go. No, no, I'm good people. Fuck off. I'm gonna steal a free hammer. There we go. Let's just head to the morgue. And, uh, let's see. Sabotage Kai ma uh, mainframe. We can do that. We can do that. Hello. You only have to destroy one hard drive in, uh, in the, uh in each level to uh, turn off the camera, so we don't need to destroy that one again. White as kids, you know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's been a while. Oh, I'm gonna steal this free scalpel. That is the right-sided donor heart destined for sodas. Oh. This is what he sold out the ICA for. And we can get rid of these guys quite easily, actually, by decreasing room temperature in the organ vault cooling system. So let's do that. Let's free some organs. There we go. Oh god, it's fucking cold in here. Oh. oh god, it is getting chilly in here. I can see all the frosty bits. Now we're in HD, you can see the frosty bits as well. Alright, out they go. Fantastic, and now all I have to do is just open up this panel. Even though I'm not allowed to do it, apparently. I'm the hospital director, but fuck it. There we go, there's Soda's heart, and there we go. It's as simple as that. Fuck you. Hey! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Done! And no hope of getting a second right-sided heart in time. Oh dear! You have effectively killed him without laying a hand on him. Fantastic! This should be a clear message. This is the first time in the entire series we can actually kill someone without actually killing down. them. <laughs> time to find an exit. We're done. Here. We're done here. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not satisfied with that result. I'm really not. I mean, sure, it was great. He's, he, he is effectively dead. But, um, frankly, I want to see him actually be dead, so here, yeah, I'm going to make sure that we, uh, we deal with this. We're going to be very thorough in our, uh, work here today, so let's go visit Kai. Let's go visit Kai, she's the mainframe computer. She's very handy. Hello. Is that you, Director? It is. Hello, Kai, how you doing? I'm just going to sabotage the mainframe. Three-point shot. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, dear. Oh, here we go. Four, two, one, three. Okay, I can remember that. Fuck you, Kai! Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, something seems to be happening. And. Oh. <laughs> I thought Kai could live forever. What the fuck's going on? Alright. I see. You are an imposter. Hello. How are you doing? You're a good wife, though. Oh, by Kronstadt in Industries. We'll be seeing them in Season 2. But uh, for now, fuck you. There we go. Kai's fucked up now. <laughs> it's all over. Fuck you! Oh, dear. Yep. Kai's gone all fucky now. Now, before we head out, there's one guy that's going to go over here and be like, um... The lights are pretty. They're flickering all over the place. What's going on? Kai's fucked up. What's going on? And now that Kai's all fucky, malfunction kill Eric Sodas. So now, now that Kai is malfunctioning as fuck, we can actually override these surgical controls and do this. Beep boop boop beep boop. There we go. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh shit, stab him in the dick! <laughs> there you go, that's what I call being thorough. Patient unresponsive indeed. 
Is this a user creator level? Oh no, this is a, a bonus level from the, uh, yeah, they, they released a whole, um, set of, uh, stuff in Season 1. It's just a, um, these are just, uh, bonus levels, which rather annoyingly, if you bought the games episodically, uh, you would have to wait until they released all three of them, because there were three of them. You have to wait, wait until they release all three of them before, um, you can actually buy them as a separate episode. Which is really fucking annoying, because I did buy Season 1 episodically. I was like, well, I won't be doing that for Season 2, I'm just gonna buy the whole game just on its own. But then Season 2 came out, and it's like, oh no, we're not doing episodic anymore. So I was like, oh great. Still, I didn't take any chances. I was like, fuck it, I'm buying the Gold Edition. I don't give a shit. I want everything. I don't care. There we go. I wanted all this stuff anyway. Not only did I pre-order um, the second game, because I knew it was just going to be more of the same, which is what I wanted anyway. But I was also like, you know, fuck it. Okay, now would be a good save. Now would be an excellent save. There we go. Now we just going to wait for this prick to basically just go off the ramp. And this guy won't be able to stop it in time. Okay. Where is he? There we go. So we just gotta hear him out and see what he's gonna do next. The episodic thing for Hitman was weird. Um... It was fine. But I just wish they uh, handled it a bit better than they did. They, they didn't do a very good job with it because... You know, it was episodic and then the gap between um, Marrakesh and Bangkok were like so many months apart. It's ridiculous. They were gonna release a new episode every month and then between Marrakesh and Bangkok they didn't do that. Um, yeah, I'm glad they're not doing episodic again. Um, but it, you know what? It had its- it, it actually worked out. It worked pretty well for like the kind of game that it was, like releasing an episode every month or so. Uh, gave you more than enough time to get all the challenges, you know. All done and that. I mean, no, it, it was. I didn't. I didn't mind the episodic release that thing. I just. It, I just wish it was handled a bit better with regards to the DLC. <laughs> there was a lack of photographs to look at. That's true. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is he going to jump off the thing yet? I don't know. As soon as he starts running, they also changed it in season two where uh, looking in. Uh, in instinct mode doesn't uh, put the game in slow motion, so that's nice. Okay, what's he doing? Start running, you prick. Oh, here we go, what's he doing? Oh, he looks like he's getting ready to run. Action! Here we go. Increase pressure. And... we. <laughs> and he gets shredded up like a pancake. Oh dear, look at him go! Oh, <laughs> now head towards an exit. Well, I think that was fairly successful. Oh dear, there's you all dead and shit. <laughs> oh, so we ground him up. That was good. That's how we do things around here. Um, I better reclaim my suit and get going, I suppose. Hello, how you doing? You have been searching. You need guidance. You require guidance. I can show you your face. I have a feeling. I have a feeling your future is looking quite grim. Okay. Come on now, friend. Times are wasting. The future is now. Are you following along or what? It, oh no. Is his, is it, his AI bugging up? Walk slower this time. I can only walk so slow, dickhead. Alright, here we go. There we go. This is the slowest I can walk, buddy. This is the slowest I can go. If you can't keep up now, holy shit, I can't help you. I guess the fortune teller didn't see the lights were going to be turned off. I... <laughs> uh, he's a shit fortune teller. He does not know the future like I do. Okay. So it's relatively easy to get rid of this guy. Oh god. Hurry it up, you slow asshole! Keep going! Here we are. Oh, look at that lovely auto save. Okay, welcome to my domain. The future is now. You're curious. You see, I have this meeting in a few minutes. I see. Can you give me an idea of the 
Yes, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I love that every time. There we go. Two objectives remaining. Fantastic. Get in the closet with your new friend. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, beautiful. And of course, we need the laptop as well. Don't forget it. Uh, here we go. Hamilton Low Documents. Documents acquired. Fantastic. One objective remaining. Ba -da -da. There we go. Flood the pool. Wait for this dickhead to piss off. Here we go. Another way you can get rid of him is by fucking up with the gas. That works too. Okay, not trespassing. Good. Now we just have to do... All we have to do is just wait for him to go where he's supposed to go, and hopefully the uh, security guard doesn't get too close. Okay, otherwise we're in a bit of trouble. I will save. There we go, because we have that auto save as well, so that'll really help us out if this is a bad save. Okay, pool is overflowing. We're going to wait for him to actually just walk near it. Hopefully then he'll be the only one there to get electrocuted. That guy, whoa, that guy's getting very close to it. Let's be careful with that. Can I go in here, man? No. Fuck you. It's no people wearing fedoras and sweaters tied around their necks. Oh, now, that's just, now you're just being discriminatory. I hate everything. Okay. Come on, bugger off. You can do it. Oh, God, this is taking forever. It was so quick before. Okay, there we go. He's buggered off. Just, oh, here we go. He's getting up. I think I'll save now because I'm not waiting for that shit to happen again. This house built on sand is going to collapse. Next time, build it on stronger foundations. There we go. It's just him now. <laughs> now head towards the next. Fantastic. Oh my god, another follower. Oh my god. What's that? Physic XP, I think it is. <laughs> Physic XP, hello. Oh my god. Thank you very much for the follow. We greatly appreciate that, especially because we get to see some Cosby. Other social media platforms. Uh, oh god, Discord, someone's tripped YouTube, an alarm. Twitter. There's been an accident here. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get something on the way out. Oh, rat poison and a wrench. Yep, that's great. That's a great parting gift. Greetings. You smell of death. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I, I do hang around the graveyard occasionally. So, the priest has been hiding from this guy. Oh, nobody has returned. Which is good, just in time to see a pretty gruesome death. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. What were you saying about the emote I put up last time? Oh, it looks like the plushy waifu that you can throw in that Doom mod. I can't even remember what Doom mod it is now. I better find it again. I think it's, um, Amazing Weapon Pack or something like that. Oh, no, 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 there we go. Play the organ. Praise be to Potato Jesus. We are now calling him to receive his blessings. All right, let's sit down. I'm going to, I'm going to hear your confessions. Thank you, Father, for seeing me. I've oh. been looking for you. I'm listening. Thank I'm you. listening. You don't even recognize me. I'm nothing like the old man that I just knocked out before, but who gives a shit? I love how the game's kind of like that. It's like, there's no way that you would be able to get away with this shit in real life, but hey. Oh no, not all the elderly people that have been living here for a million years. It's Artier of soon to be non existent Hollow CN. Oh. Oh, pat that waifu head, I see. <clears throat> She's got a similar face to that plushy waifu that you can throw around in Doom, Ten though. Marys, and you're on your I've forgotten what that mod is, but I have to remind myself. It's maybe I've already done it on stream. Time, Ten Hail Marys and you're good to go. <laughs> Off to heaven with you. Okay. I know you won't uh, talk. Seal of confession. That's true. But I want the church on my uh, side. I'm a good probably Catholic. Probably knew that. So maybe join me on the roof where we can talk a bit more. Okay. I like the sound of that. Scratch each other's backs. I I like talking on the roof. Here we go. All right. We're heading to the roof then. This is promising because the roof is uh, nice and high in the church. It's really high up. I feel like we can do some excellent things here. Oh, hello. 
Oh, here we go. All right, so... Oh, God, taking your time, aren't you? Come on, now. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Get that cardio going, God's sake. Just uh, don't look in here, if you could. I don't need to talk to myself. No, I'm talking to him on the roof. The Vatican has always been fond of money, or money is God. Eh, uh, whatever you say. God had simply taken another form. Yeah, but he was a bit of a wanker, so. God, you are doing nothing but confession today. Everything changes, I suppose. Okay, come on, you can do it. Get those noodle arms going already, god damn it. Okay. Seriously, we're now assassinating politicians. Although we did kill the vice president in blood money, so yeah. This isn't a first for me. We, we dealt with Daniel Morris so hard, they, the president had to come back and be like, Oh my god, Daniel Morris is dead. That's not the greatest. Okay. Oh god, he's already out of breath. <laughs> you really have to stop smoking there, Rabbi Arty. <laughs> hey, shit, are you alright? Come on. I can't have- it would be really ironic if you could kill someone just by making them exert themselves. That would be amazing. <laughs> it would have to be an easter egg though, because otherwise it'd just be way too easy. It's like when you freak out Alma Reynard in, in the New Zealand level in Hitman 2. If you freak her out enough, she'll run out into the ocean and just die that way. I barely recognized you. Oh, why so serious? Oh my god. Bro, galore, galore, galore also has reached warp 10. Okay. This could all be ours. Well, it could be mine, but it's not going to be yours. I agree. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Hooray. Victory is mine. Now head towards the next. I win. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to go. Ah, bummer. <laughs> oh, dear. It's like a long time to scrape him off the fucking roof. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, goodness me. Well, that's the end of him. We won't be seeing him ever again. Thank you! Exactly. All right. Um, I can actually... Let's see. Where is the... Here it is. There's a pipe here. So, I might be able to take a shortcut. Here we go. Whoop. Hostile area. That's all right. Whee! This is all fine. This is okay. Action priest. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. We've just got to wait for this, uh, for these two to actually begin the ritual, actually. I am just gonna hide in here, why not? Um... Will I save? I might as well save. Alright. Cool. Now we just have to wait for them to come up here. I could fire off the phone now and kill Sister Yulduz, but, um... Might disrupt the proceedings. Because Nabazov might not come up here and do the ritual then. So, we're just going to chill here for a bit. Oh. Um. Yeah, we'll just wait until they're ready. Everything's in place. Um, he's going to burn to death on his fire, and uh, the good sister will be electrocuted as well. With the phone that I donated to her. I said, hey, this is a b burner phone. I just dropped it. It's yours now. I mean, seriously, how dumb can these people get? Okay. I can practice my harmonica while we wait. That'll amuse and entertain, I'm sure. I can't play this thing, but I am working on it. <laughs> It's kind of tough. Like, I got all the... Yeah, I got all the notation in front of me, so... I could probably learn this well enough. Oh! Already ready to go. Okay. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Okay. Here we go. This is my secret weapon. They will believe that I can do anything. Touching fire and feeling no pain. But it's all just a matter of using this flame retardant liquid on my hands. Hmm. Smells, smells uh, a bit like spirits, but uh, okay. There we go. Oh, I can now head out here. 
There we go. And now we've got front row seats to this. Tragedy is a heavy sword. All right, here we go. But there is another way. <laughs> Please sign up to our uh, expensive program. Oh. Turn to an expectation. Tragedy loses its hold upon us because we expect it with dignity. Yeah. Come on, touch the fire, you wanker. No! Oh, fuck! Oh dear, yeah, that's not too good. elimination confirmed. Fantastic. That's how we do it. Sister Yuldus is still there. Still waiting to die. I'm going to wait for it to stop panicking before I ring that phone. Here we go. Also, fuck with this piano. Why not? What the fuck? Woo. I'm all spooky and shit. Okay. Nabazov is dead. Um. And there's the sister. Let's see if we can ring it now. There we go. We've rung the phone. Oh. Oh, there we go. All targets eliminated. Death by fire and electrocution. That's what happens when you fuck around with me. Bloody death cultists. I love how everyone's so enthusiastic. <laughs> They're a tiny little fan club, but they love they love this shit. And you know what? If they love it, oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm getting some runoff fanboyism here. It's uh it's not it's not doing my psyche uh, too well though. I am going to drop a save. I'm going to do that. Okay. Go on. Go on. Go to the pen again. You know you want to. Here we go. Alright. Go on. Go on. Read into it. There we go. Okay. Still hilarious every time. Okay. Fantastic. I don't know when the bell's gonna go, but it's probably gonna be soonish. Eh. Eh. I wish I could stop the bell from ringing, that would be really handy. But if worse comes to worse, I could just uh, use his disguise. Okay. I guess I could, like, give him the gun temporarily. Am I allowed to? No, I'm not allowed to carry guns. Um. Oh, oh, I got the wrench, so that's fine. Huh. Huh. There we go. I've got the wrench. I don't need the uh, the briefcase after all. Okay. Let's see if we can still do this. There we are. I guess I could just be patient and let those guys go away. Can I do anything about... um? Okay, you know what? I'm happy with what just happened there. I'm gonna save, because that save, that manual save is a shit one anyway. Okay. Might be able to get away with this. Because I was a bit quicker this time. Uh, oh, it's all spooky. Okay. Just get rid of this body. Okay, we managed to get rid of one of them. There we go! Off you go. There you go. Just take a nap for a while. You'll be fine. Um, second guy. There goes the bell. Um, and there's someone over there. Yeah, we've got a couple of guards. If we just wait for them to bugger off. We've got a bit of time. Okay. Yeah, no. We, we, we can do this. We can do this. Yep, they're going. Oh, God. Gardener, don't you dare. 47, the targets are heading for the meeting now. There we go. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Get the fuck in that shed. Okay. Targets are heading to the meeting place, which is good. Okay, so now with those two guys gone, um, I should be able to deal with him nice and quickly and easily. There we go. Beautiful. Do I have any cool things to use? Um, Not really. Oh, well. Still, uh, we should be able to get rid of him fairly easily. Just don't open that door, because there's a bunch of dudes there. Some of them naked, and also this guy is not all the way through the window, so... Let's just, uh, get him a bit more. There we go. There we go. This is the last thing we need to be spotted here. That would be terrible. 
But uh, I think we'll be fine. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to chill here for a bit, I guess. Don't have to worry about anything else. I'll just leave my briefcase here for now. Hopefully he doesn't notice it and get all fucky with his AI. I guess I could also electrocute him too. That is also a, po a possibility. I don't think I have anything I can use to that effect though, so... Uh. You can just make this place nice and soggy, but that's about it. If I had a battery, but there are no batteries in Season 1. That's only in Season 2. So, never mind. I could use the electrocution phone. I think that works if you drop that in a puddle. I think technically that works. Okay. I've stolen this bust. It belongs to me now. Okay. I should be able to get away with this. Whew. I mean, it, it fucking, it fucking feels terrifying out here, like terrible, nefarious things are about to take place. Not even God himself can stop this. But I can. Acts of men are better than acts of God, as it is said by waifus. Okay, yep, here he is. <laughs> There's just a whole pile of bodies in there. Oh, Jesus Christ. And here is Brother Akram. Here we go. That is Brother Akram. I, your I know heart. that. You don't have to tell me. Particularly discreet. Okay. If there's not an option for turning Diana off in um in Hitman Three, I'm going to be very disappointed. Just, how else are you supposed to turn her, uh, turn her off? Um, uh, I'm uh, sensitive and love soy milk. Pretty sure I already made that joke, but fuck it. Who cares? Um, hello, brother. It is time. Oh. The flame Fantastic. I'll do that, sure. There yes, you go. Of course. Just pop the virus there. And done. Hi. <laughs> and there's the virus. <laughs> done. We're done here. I'll have a team ready to take possession of the weaponized virus as soon as you extract. Cool, Leo. Um, is this my... This is church staff. Where's my suit, though? Good work. Oh, they've just walked off already. They're like, well, I heard him scream. I guess he's dead. I guess we're quitting work early today. <laughs> it's a nice night for it. All right, uh, bodyguard. Where the fuck is my suit? Um, bodyguard, shirt staff. Uh, oh, here we go, Raven suit. It's apparently over here, okay. Don't remember leaving. Oh yeah, I totally took the church staff outfit here. So that's church staff and Raven suit. There we go. Alright, fantastic. Oh, and I nearly forgot my briefcase. You don't want to leave home without that. Or go home without it, I should say. This ain't my home, fuck it. Where is my home? I, I never even knew where my home... I, I know I had a hideout in the in Blood Money, but ever since then, no, I don't really have much of anything. I think we can do this just fine. There are often multiple ways to distract, particularly observant guards. In this case, we only have certain things we can use to distract them, like uh, shooting bullets Welcome near to them. to Colorado, 47. Your primary target is Dr. Bradley Payne. Okay. From what I can determine, he's already infected a number of militia members with Nabazov's virus. He's a bit of a dickhead, really. To containment, we must eliminate everyone who has been in contact with it. Okay. I'm pulling up details Save the apricots. Be, and we'll pass it on to you as soon as possible. It okay. will be piecemeal, however. I suggest you do not engage the primary target until we are certain that all the infected have been eliminated. Okay. Good hunting. There he is over there. I'm looking at that is your primary yep. target, CDC Dr. Bradley Payne. Ah. I suggest we locate and eliminate all secondary targets first. Too late. <laughs> Down he goes. <laughs> Bradley Payne has been eliminated. Fantastic. Now Unnoticed so kill. Uh, can we save? Yes, we can save in this mission. Thank God for that. Bradley Payne is down. Okay. Now. So I'll now we have to look at this randomized number of four infected bastards. Look for the target in the overgrown junkyard toward the main gate by the water tower. Okay. Most likely one of the soldiers. I can do that. Stationed in junkyard. Live music, huh? Hmm, not a good sign. I have some information, 47. Oh. More doctor's notes. Subject presenting paranoid or psychotic behavior. Hmm. Mid-stage delusion. Promising. 
Mid state. Like this doctor forty-seven. <laughs> Regardless, look for someone nervous or scared. Okay, someone nervous or scared. Stationed in junkyard. Paranoid behavior. Let's see. Are you paranoid? No, you're just drinking beer. Um, paranoia. This should help you narrow the search down a little. He's working on an old tractor. Ah. The model is MC Boyle. Well, that narrows it down to these two guys here. So. He's been posting pictures of it on social media. Okay. We can blow them Catherine. both up here, He's but I would rather go for a silent assassin on this. Repairing tractor. Now we just have to find which one of these is uh, paranoid. Two paranoid, well, one paranoid git and two people working on the tractor at all times. I think so. Which one is paranoid? I guess we could just load our save. Are you paranoid? We'll find out. Done. All That's right. The first infected target eliminated. One down. I'll get to work on the next one. Okay. Look for your target near the garage by the red barn. Ah. He's almost certainly one of the mechanics. Okay. Time to deal with the mechanic. Seven. The target is assigned to the vehicle pool. Okay. It. I was worried about that. That's three potential there targets as opposed to two Fish if they were on ID. lunch break. Look for someone snacking. Forty-seven. Oh, okay. I hope he chose something tasty. This should be his last meal after all. Okay. So Can there's this. I think I can see him. That guy's snacking. This guy's snacking as well, though, but I think I've got this. I just gotta put him somewhere nice and secluded, though. Um, don't know where I'm gonna hide the body, but I'll find something. Okay. Oh. Off he goes. I wonder if I can just get him over here. Oh. The fuck was that? Oh god, he's gonna check it out. That's no good. Hmm, uh, okay. I would like to hide his body if at all possible. I think I can do that by shooting him through that window there. Okay, come on, buddy. This one's a pain in the ass for getting challenges in because sometimes you can't hide all bodies or, you know, accidents can sometimes be hard to come by. No, don't you dare eat again. God damn it, he's so hungry. Wait, 47. One of the infected is trying to escape. Oh, he's Take making a run for it. We can't let any of them get away. Oh, yeah, no, we're not having that. Hang on, I'll find a secluded spot to get rid of him in. Here we go. Oh, look at him run. Don't let him escape. He's definitely infected and he's freaking out because of all the gunshots. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Oh, not quite. Shit, hang on. Oh, we do have another chance here. Shit. This is tricky, man. Okay, we do it. Hang on. Reload. And make it quick. We only have so many chances here. Okay. Oh. 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 And... Damn it. Leading targets is hard. He's almost out, 47. I know. I'm just gonna load it. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I hate the vector so much. And I forgot um, what distance you need to lead targets. It's kind of tricky. I used to be really good at doing that. Okay, but at least I know who is who, so maybe I'll just get rid of this guy. Okay. Okay. Target Wait. confirmed. <laughs> that wasn't the one I was providing you intel on, though, 47. The target is But you figured it out anyway. Good for you. Hang on. I don't trust this guy looking over here as well. Here we go. And pop. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Well, that was a target as well. Oh, he's not a hidden kill either. Fuck, I hate this target by the, the motor pool. Okay, I guess I could try spooky him again, I guess. This is going to be a tricky one to nail down. I'm looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you shortly. Okay. Let's spook him a bit. There we go. You actually have plenty of opportunities to send him into the hay, so... Look for him there. Let me see. You're looking for a mechanic. Working on one of the militia's vehicles. Okay. Wait, 47. One of the infected is trying to escape. As Take I knew he now. would. Come on, dickhead. Any of them get away. Make my day, you son of a bitch. I'm going to see if I can limit... I get, I get plenty of opportunities here. Oh, shit. Yep, no, I'm fully loaded. Here we go. Fully loaded. Six shots. I think we can do this. Okay. Lead your shots. Doesn't have to be a headshot. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, come on. This is the only way I can really do this. Oh. Damn it. I don't know how to lead targets at all. Shit. 
Come on, just die, you fucker. We can't let any of the infected get away. Take well, he just now before he escapes. I guess I could have blown him up. There we go. That's, That's good enough. He's hidden well enough, I suppose. I'll have information on okay, time. let's just keep on going from here. Oh, I got to get rid of tractor guy as the well. The target is on guard duty, somewhere in the farm's junkyard near the water yeah. tower. Here we go, forty-seven. Hmm, yeah. this is yeah. tricky. And bye. Done. Target All right. Eliminated. I'm not going to hide all the I'll bodies, but hopefully I'll still get a silent run. assassin on this. Just don't spot the bodies. We're looking for a target near the main house. One of the soldiers, perhaps. Okay. Not to tell. Lots of armed people there. Everyone's a fucking soldier, except for the chefs, I guess, but they're technically armed, too. Raking up leaves. Okay. You're not raking up leaves. Who's raking leaves? Uh, you've got a watering can. Oh. target is a freestyle fighter. Ah. Watch for anyone shadow boxing. Okay, shadow boxing. We got this guy running around. He doesn't look like he's. Have you located the target? I think I have. Yep, he's shadow boxing. Uh. That was a no, no you lied to me. That's not who it was. <laughs> Fuck. All right. God's sake. Um, this is starting to be a pain in the ass. I guess we could just like brute force this and just be like, okay, who else is raking? You're vomiting. Um, don't know if you're a reiki guy. He's shadow boxing. Yay! It was that one. All right. Target kill. Skipping ahead, are we? Target near the garage by the red barn. He's almost certainly one of the mechanics. Yeah. I have something. Forty-seven. The target is assigned to the vehicle pool. Repair duty. Who? Mm -hmm. And then I just blow him up, right? Oh, it's time to explode. Wee! There he target goes. I'll get to work Explosion kill. Unnoticed kill. Even better. That's You're good. For a target in the central greenhouse area. Possibly in the nearby orchard or field canteen. There we go. I should be able to get away with this as well. God fucking damn it, are you serious? Oh, I hate these sniper levels. Well, actually, I don't mind most of them, but this one is a massive, massive pain in the dick hole. Focus on the poor sods you infected. Okay, I'm so we've got this fucker now. here. Um, some intel for you shortly. Man, I might as well just get rid of all the, the ones that I already know about. Okay, fuck you. Wait. Okay, target kill confirmed. That wasn't the one I was providing. There we go. And who else do we have to get rid of here? There we go. Those pains in the dick hole are the worst. I agree. <laughs> Those are the worst ones. Hang on, should be able to get you in there nice and quick. Come on. Ugh. I agree. Those are the worst ones. Okay, we have one target well, left now. Was a target as well, I suppose. <laughs> I guess it's, it's in my laptop now. Sure. Fuck it, let's just say that was a target. All right, now I've got the uh, last area, which is this greenhouse area. See, now she's grumpy because I've gotten ahead of her. Come on. Let's not be that way, Diana. I still need to know who I'm shooting over here. It, she's gone suspiciously quiet. Am I just going to have to shoot all of them at the greenhouse and just hope for the best? Oh, I hope not. I hope that's not how this goes. Also, hello there, Mex uh, Mexumness. How you doing? You joined us at a weird time. We're now out of intel. <laughs> oh god. I'm not being told anything. Okay. Oh, okay. So that was an accident kill and that does... Okay. Okay. Accident kills are fine. Doing well. That's that's the best, uh, best you can hope for, really, isn't it? Now, I'm not getting any more intel because I jumped the gun way too much there. Um. So what I'm going to have to do, there's... There's like two nerds on a laptop. They play WoW a lot. Or what I could do is I can load. No, there's no auto save. Well, I'll try loading the manual save. See if that fixes it. Because I don't quite know who I'm dealing with at the greenhouse just yet. Um. Okay. Central greenhouse area. Who am I looking for? Oh, fuck it. Let's just start burning people. Yeah. It, there's some gasoline on the ground there. There we go. Burn that fucker. I'll be really surprised if that's the one. Is that him? No. Skipping ahead, are we? Target killed. That uh, wasn't one of your targets, forty-seven. I know it wasn't. Jesus Christ! You stopped talking to me. 
It's that one. Okay. It's, it's, it's this nerd here by the greenhouse. So he wasn't a chef. Okay, which just leaves us- after we've done this, we just have to shoot this guy in the head and then we're done with the la- and then we're ready for the last mission. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Target kill confirmed. Sometimes that I have to jump ahead of it. Providing you intel on the 47. Okay. Let me just confirm. Yes, that's all of them. Cool. Good. We're done here, 47. Get out of that tower and head for the airstrip. This- <laughs> hopefully the virus doesn't chase me to the airstrip. that would be the worst thing. Alright, we've got one more level to do and it's only 11 past 5, so yeah, we're making good time. Um, so yeah, this will be fine. We should be A-OK. -okay. I'll watch the intro, but then I'll restart the level and skip it because, uh, you gotta be pretty quick to do this technique I've devised, but if you can Welcome do it, Hokkaido, then... 47. If you can pull it off, Our it makes the level a lot easier. Held in isolation, in a heavily quarantined area of the hospital. Okay. He seems to be in the late stages oh, of the infection. <laughs> crawling the across the wall. I don't know how I did that. He is also extremely contagious. Don't let him touch Do you, he's icky. Approach him without taking precautions. Okay. Klaus Liebleid is examining Cage in his makeshift lab. Okay. I need to stress this again, 47. The virus is absolutely lethal. And so am Can't I. Be allowed to escape the facility, <laughs> no matter the cost. Okay. Proceed with caution. I can do that. These guys are not not reacting at all. I might as well just show what happens when you- oh. God, they just not give a shit. These people are terrible guards. Okay. I'll be taking your guns. So basically he starts waddling off when the time comes and he'll start infecting people. And um, it's always this- the first one is always this rubbernecking lady who's just like, oh, you look terrible, are you okay? So we've got a new icon, the uh, the yellow uh, skull symbol, which means infection. Now currently there's just only one. Um, you know what, fuck it, I, I'm just gonna restart now and show everyone how it's done. <laughs> it's, like I said, I'll probably uh, at another point in time do a uh, kill everyone Welcome run. So, alright, this is how I generally do it. At the very beginning, jump over here. Make a left and you'll find yourself some Dr. Pop. Grab that, because you're going to need it. Unless you've got something to throw in your inventory, but if not, that's fine. We're just going to wait for these guys to go inside. Here we go. Come on now. We might accidentally infect ourselves, but that's actually okay. We're going to go on this ledge over here. It don't creep down just yet. Move past window. Oh. If you're quick enough, they won't spot you. Someone's looking over here. No, all right, all good. Okay, sneak your way in through the window here. And we're in the bathroom. All right, so what we want to do is we want to head through here. Equip your Dr. Pop. Entering the isolation ward without a hazard. Chuck it at this guy. Oh. Dangerous. Wait. And then we've got uh, Mr. The Cage. You shoot him in the face. There you go. Dway! <laughs> that timing, though. Oh, my God. Thank you very much for that follow there, Mex, Mex Omnis. What a timely follow as well. Just like that. Just like that, it's already over. <laughs> the virus has been stopped. He can't spread it anymore. That's how you do it. Just throw a Dr. Pop and that'll do the trick. Okay, you can do this suit only. Uh, relatively easy. I won't, though, just to save time. There you go. <laughs> as soon as he dies, instantly the virus is gone. Even though there's no risk of infection anymore, because... No one else is going to be infected. Oh, there we go. So, I'm actually going to retrace my steps somewhat. Um, first things first. Um, am I allowed through here? Yeah, I think I am. I'll get caught on camera, maybe, but... Hey, hazmat coming through. Yep, hazmat coming through is right. Okay, scusi. Me first. Okay, now our second target. That um, is Dr. Klaus Liebley. Klaus Liebley. There he is, just hanging out. To leave the facility. And uh, we can't allow him to leave either, even though the virus has been effectively wiped out. Do I have any bludgeoning items? I do not. Okay, I'll just have to do this the, the old-fashioned way. You gotta be. What the hell was that? Ugh, no virus is the dream we all have these days. If only it was simple as just plugging someone's head. Okay, just quickly stuff him in there. Klaus Liebleed is in his on his way over here. Whoop, there we go. Hug the wall. Yep, basically just take cover by the wall there and mash the subdue button. And there you go. I mean, he's just he just walks in here by himself. Target Done. Just break his neck. 
steal his outfit, and that's just that simple. <laughs> that's why I said this wouldn't take very long. Oh. Be beautiful. That's how it is done. Hello, I am totally Klaus Liebleed, as you can see, even though I don't look anything like him, but I'm wearing the black hazmat suit. It's just that simple. Um, but, you know, sometimes things can go wrong, but for the most part, that was pretty easy. I'll grab that can there. Um, the exit is the front area, so I, I think I'll be able to reclaim my suit, I think. Yeah, the tricky part is going to be leaving again. Um, I suppose I could just save. There we go. Save that shit. There we go. Boom. Okay. So that was patient zero. Um, I gotta actually leave the place, but other than that, I think that's okay. There we go. Get my. Without a hazmat suit, you risk exposure to the virus. I'll be fine. Stop worrying about it. Holy shit. <laughs> Always complaining. Uh, there is actually in the uh, where the stem cells are stored in the uh, basement area. There is um, an antivirus if you happen to. Uh, there's a vaccine if you happen to get yourself infected, but um, as you can see, that's not really, not really a concern when you do it right. Although if you do get hit by it, you'll have to go into the basement and get that. If you want to do a kill everything run, I uh, kill everybody run. I highly recommend also getting the antivirus into you because you won't have enough time to uh, to do it all. Okay. I'm just going to take this exit up here and just uh, escape through the cliff. I could take the jet ski, but um, this is a bit more convenient in the long run, I think. Very well done, 47. We've just got to wait for these Owen guys to Cage piss off. Klaus Liebled are both dead. Yay! The virus has no chance to spread. I've relayed the information to the board. Fantastic. They offer their congratulations. Congratulations. We'll again shortly. You did it. Neon Genesis ending for everybody. All right, and there we go, done. That was so easy. It's really easy. Oh my God, that deserves one of these, I think. Here we go. I, I don't know that tune at all, <laughs> but I'll, I'll work on it. Done, there you go. You can also incinerate him if you want. That's always fun. But that's a way you can do it nice and quick without anyone getting infected. Good times. And there you have it. That's Hitman season one. I got through season one with, uh, I went 20 minutes over, but that's all right. That's fine. Oh, and there's an ending cutscene, of course. I finished the final operations report for the client. Mm. And the weaponized virus. There's a knife in the door. I supervised it. It's a bit this odd. This a close-run thing, 47. Nabazov's plan was brilliant. This is beyond the work of a cult. Not just brilliant. This is tradecraft. Indeed. Yeah. Of course, as far as the ICA is concerned, the contract is closed. I wonder if we'll see a follow-up to this. I don't know. Made it back. Turns out my internet went out for a few minutes. Oh no, not you too. I've acquired the target. Ah, but at any rate, we've done season one, including Patient Zero and all the extra missions as well. Didn't get around to uh, Hitman 2, but I have a feeling I, I already knew going into this that probably wasn't going to happen, but we will get to it. Don't you worry, we'll be doing Hitman 2 uh, again. We'll just be replaying that. Um, Don't know when, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> GG indeed. Oh my goodness. So that was all of season one. Uh, we'll do season two in its entirety at some point as well. There's not a whole lot of stuff for season two. Season one had so much more stuff for it. Hitman 2 has one less level because I don't uh, I don't consider New Zealand to be a full-fledged level. And um, it also doesn't have... Uh, well, it does have the two bonus levels. I forgot about these. These are like the best levels. These two bonus levels are great. Um... Also, some special assignments as well. Two special assignments, which, um, there's, there's one in Mumbai, um, the poor Kiwis, I know. And this, the other one was in, um, in, uh, Vermont as well. So there's that. Nothing featured because all we're doing is just waiting for Hitman 3 to come out, at least. Okay, so that was, that was the thing. Hang on, I got, I, before we wrap up the stream, of course, I have to see who I'm hosting. I've got to see who I'm hosting and then... Of course, I've got to wrap up properly, and thank you all for uh, for tr joining in. Um, I'm going to just see who I'm going to host today. Only 23 minutes over. I'm happy with that result. Let's see. Who am I going to host today? Um, nope. Nope. Um, there's one. Nope. 16 viewers. Yeah. Okay. RiseMG has 16 viewers and is also a fellow Australian, so I think I'll, uh, I think I'll host him. Wait, where's my music's at? Here we go. There we go. Now let's have this. 
There we go. Oh, God. Hitman and Sheikah together at last. It's a good thing. So, yes, I will be uh, doing Hitman 2. Um, I'll be redoing that in HD, in its full sexiness, um, at some, some point. Aussie support indeed. I know, it's the best thing. Um... Yeah, I will be redoing Hitman 2 in its entirety as well, so don't you worry about that. Uh, I'm going to try and squeeze it in before um, before it's uh, it's uh, se uh, season three is released in January. So I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be great. This is just basically gearing up for that uh, Hitman 3 release, which will probably be my first stream of the year once we uh, get into 2021. Um, but there you have it. That was a stream. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next week, but it is the last week that isn't a theme month for the year because everything else is just full on theme months like crap game stream, flash extravaganza, PBS champion wrestling, Christmas streaming, New Year's. Oh my God, there's so much to do. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll think of something. Maybe I'll, I'll finish off the uh, things we didn't finish like um, Postal, Postal Paradise Lost and uh, Hat and Time maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But hey, thank you very much for joining me for Hitman Season 1. That's <laughs> it, now in HD. Um, uh, don't think I have to rem remember anything else. So thank you very much for joining me. I've been me, you've been you. I hope you've enjoyed Hitman Season 1 in HD. And I'll see you when, I'll, when I next see you. So until then, be sure to keep hitting men.